Good evening. Happy weekend. It is Friday and for the very first time, we are going to be totally childless today. We got babysitters. Yeah, you know, we just called someone up when we headed to the Zicards, um, which is so funny because we did not know that they were going to be living here when we got these tickets, and so it worked out splendidly. Yes, we were thinking like maybe Chelsea and Kristen or some of our other friends. Yeah, we would have figured it out. We would have figured it out. And like, we'll, we'll, we'll still rotate our other friends into the mix. But it was just like nice. It's a little bit later. We're going to see a concert. A little old band called Andrew McMahon in the Wilderness. Our fav very favorite. Um, so this is the third time that we've seen him? That we're going to be seeing him in Orlando or the fourth? Third time in Orlando. Second time at the House of Blues Disney Springs. You saw Andrew in Florida though. I saw him in Tampa. <laughs> I sure actually remember I got like a last minute ticket yeah. um but anyways we have seen him a lot he's our guy and so he's at Disney Springs and with it being a little bit, little bit later the boys can be cozy and in like kid mode like all the kids are gonna be going to bed and you know what I mean so yeah we are almost there and then we'll be headed off. Sarah's got, this is the first Andrew McMahon concert where Sarah's got tattoo. Wow. And Andrew lived in Chicago for a period of time, so. Actually, he has a Chicago flag sticker on his piano. I had just seen Ooh. it in a video and I meant to tell you that. So yeah, it'll just, just love right. him. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. It's a card's home. Look it. How do you feel? You're a Florida boy like me. A couple days ago. <laughs> This place, just, it has come together. I love it a lot. I love the island, and everybody who lives in Florida knows you ain't get wide hallways like that anywhere else in Florida. Look how wide. That's like six feet wide. That's a room in itself. The last time I was here, it was like empty. So really good. It feels so homey. Who hung that? Me. You hung that? Proud of you, man. Really like Proud of you. Five minutes before you got here. <laughs> Wow, okay. cubbies win. Our aunt and cousin are at this uh, game, actually. Hey, Chicago, what do you say? Cubs are gonna win today. Wow. We could do it. Um. We're kind of unwell. So we don't know how to comprehend. With no stroller, no backpack, no nothing. Mm -hmm. We're just like walking and holding hands and we're like... This is different. <laughs> Thinking about how Summer House on the Lake is going to be opening up soon. <laughs> Hello? We love yeah. Summer House in Santa Monica yeah. in Chicago. Yeah. I'm just feeling weird. I'm feeling... <laughs> and doors open like 15 minutes ago, so mm -hmm. we're going to head on over to House of Blues and try to stake out a spot, see how close we can get to the stage. Starting Line is also playing, as well as a band called Flow, which we've never heard of, or seen, or whatever. All right, here we go. Now we wait. Still don't know what to do with our hands now that kids aren't with us. It's floor, not floor. Yeah, floor, not floor. Sorry. Starting line's about to come out, and then... No, we cannot lose our
show up and listen to those songs. <laughs> Throughout the night as I venture into, into some of the, 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 the tunes off of, of Tilt at the Window More, which is my newest record, I hope one of you do. If you haven't heard it yet, maybe this will inspire you to check it out. Uh, just know that this feels a lot like being a teenager at a high school party where I found the piano and I'm sitting there like burying my soul and hoping y'all will listen. My daughter's friend was having a birthday party and I was in, a, in the kitchen I go, who, who, I called over my buddy whose house it was. I was like, what's the name of that redheaded gentleman over there? He's like, oh, that's Jordan. He goes, like your song, dude. Like, no, that's the Jordan. I was like, how do you know him? He's like, he's my son's baseball coach. So I have a mission, but it's, 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 it's a dubious one because when
what I want to do is I actually want to, I want to ride this lava. I don't, I don't think I can fit under the ceiling back there, but I want to try. Like, do you have my back in this pursuit? Let's see what happens. Get out with just enough time to hop over to Pizza Ponte and get a little bit of pizza before we go get the boys. I'm not just a murderer, though. Whoa. I got the panna cotta. It's scalding hot because it just came out of the. <laughs> oh no! So we had to rush to get the pizza because Pizza Ponte was closing in like five minutes. They had a fresh pizza coming, so I took the last piece of the prima cotta. And now we don't have to rush anymore. We just need to stroll back to our car and eat our pizza. We haven't, we haven't been eating cheese. <laughs> I'm very happy. <laughs> <laughs> and now we can have this like little stroll on a quiet path back to the car. Well, it's late. Kids hopefully stay asleep. Why did you punch the house? <laughs> I almost did. We didn't even mention that when like the parachute situation happened. Was it during the parachute? Yeah. And Andrew ran and danced with us. <laughs> Literally, like the where he had his little circle. This is how close 
singing yeah. synesthesia, which is like it's close to us. Our second favorite Andrew McMahon of Wilderness song. I feel like we love Love and Great Buildings, like that's ours, and yeah. then synesthesia is the one we jam the yeah. most too. I think that it was, was a crazy. top three Andrew McMahon show, I think. Yeah. In some of the footage, you'll see, like, our view is, like, sometimes obscured. Like, yeah. EJ had to join. She needed some attention. <laughs> um, the crowd shifted a lot because Andrew kept on coming in the crowd. And it was then, so uh, cool. We almost got in a fight at one well, point. Well, we didn't get in a fight. There was a fight near us, yeah. and Peter was basically became, like, a barricade yeah. from the fight to, like, he was, like, being protective. It almost, it almost happened. Yeah, it was almost, like, night ruining. And I actually, like... I thought that Andrew was going to stop. Like, it was like... If it did turn off, I'd he was stopped. Yeah. We were, but he, we he did close. keep on looking over at the yeah. area, so... Yeah, but... Incredible. So fun when it's at Disney Springs and we can, like... It feels... <laughs> it feels, like, very, like, Andrew came to our home. Yeah. You know? Um, I wish Cecilia was there. I wish he played a little bit of Constantine, because he has been, but... Um, it was great. It was so great. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>